Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. You can make one common mistake that can cost you hundreds, even thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Toyota Corolla. Talking about the generation here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those and the dash vent blows, uh, the AC dash vent on the driver's side blows cold air, but the passenger side blows hot air, stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that. It could be simple fix, it's not too expensive, sometimes it's hard to get to, we'll explain about that. Uh, we will explain where you can guys buy cheap parts and tools that we do not waste money and time Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience Make sure you stay until the end So before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage We try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos We take them completely apart We'll show you how to do engine work transmission mechanical body work anything you can think of practically on this channel specifically we'll be making at least 150 to 200 videos about that Toyota Corolla, that generation guys, if you have one of those, we'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your car does not want to start, you can, and uh, you find out that the fuel pump is bad, you're not getting fuel, you can just search for fuel pump uh, relay, fuel pump fuse really quickly, watch the video, spend a minute or two, replace it, you're back on the road, because uh, the writings on the fuse boxes uh, are very vague and most people will not even know uh, what they mean so uh, we will be making videos about uh, every possible fusion uh, relay in that Toyota Corolla so let's start on it now so guys now we'll demonstrate on that generation Toyota Corolla right here now if you have that one and on the driver's side vent if you get guys cold AC but on the passenger side it's hot what can easily cause that most likely guys okay you need to check multiple fuses okay for the climate control system first we need to open the hood here on the driver's side we have that fuse box open the cover underneath you'll find that fuse box layout here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so here guys what you will need to check if the ac blows hot on the passenger side we need to check three fuses two in this fuse box one in another one and for any of you that needs to buy any fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll put a link in the description of the video below check it out you can save quite a bit of money coming here you need to check fuse number one right there and then you need to check fuse number 27 right here next you need to guys go ahead and look under the dash on the driver's side look upside down on the bottom of the dash you have that cover open it and underneath you'll find that interior fuse box here you need to come in that row of fuses 17 through 32 so you count 17 18 19 21 2 3 4 5 6 fuse number 26 it's a climate control fuse now guys if you still have hot air on the passenger side okay climate control fuses are fine most likely now nine out of ten times will be a device known as blind door actuator this is the device guys that actually it's a motor attached with plastic gears to a flap that adjusts the temperature from hot to cold whether it blows from the heater side or the ac side and when they fail it can be stuck in hot position that's why you get hot air now uh, often when they fail or start failing you may hear clicking behind the dash when you change the heater uh, the climate control settings when you start the car sometimes they don't make any noise they just fail and they're stuck in one position you never know we had one that failed at 8,000 miles so there are exceptions even on lower mileage vehicles it could happen but most of the times will be bad blind door actuator hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time 